Hey everybody, Gameplay48 of the 5 here. Welcome to more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. But, I'll tell you what, bud. If you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? I'll take you on! Okay, okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're gonna go hide somewhere, and if you can't find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try to catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island. So look for us around in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we'll lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! So yeah, this is a little play of hide and seek. I'm gonna go for this kid first. Uh, let's see here. Um, pots, potty, rupees. Anyway, um, let's see. Over here is the first one. It looks like a girl to me. It sounds like a girl too. I don't know what. I'm gonna watch you behind. So anyway, you gotta find them and then get run and you gotta catch them. You just need to touch them. I touch you! Get the system on you. You're awesome! Yeah, no, I'm awesome. So anyway. Also, last time we got we learned a new song, the song of passing. That is basically the sun song that makes you're able to make it from day to night. Anyway, the next kid I'm gonna find is over here. Uh, where we found the um where we went for to get the uh, bombs and for to get the pop password, you know. And I don't know which episode that was, but whatever. I see you. Anyway. Hey kid! What's up? I got you now! You look like a pig by the way. Piggy jump! Nah, just kidding. <laughs> That's certainly how far they can jump without, you know, breaking their legs and shit. Anyway, go, Link. So... Come on, get over here! Aw, oh, lame! Shut up, you're lame, you look like a pig! Aw, oh, I should ca caught it right here. Now you could just pretend it was dating their, those girls. That would be funny. Anyway, the next kid is, and the second last, is right behind here, where, right behind the rock, Elvis is dancing in front of, and he just froze. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Look at that! How did you survive that? You gotta be about 20 feet, 20 meters or something. I don't know. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Get over here! Anyway. You got, yeah, got my, hell yeah. And the last one is right here. Just run in the tree. And how do you survive that? I know. Yay, it's Nintendo logic. Whatever. Get over here. I gotta go away from the bad of my guy. What the hell? Get over here. Yar, you, yeah, got me. Yar. Anyway, I went and caught them all. Arr, I can't believe it. You found all four of us. And you caught us all too. Let's talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, Calabeus. Touch. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide-and-seeking skills, here, take this, buddy. And it's a piece of art. Uh, this is our favorite pers position, but you've proven that you're worthy to our bud the hide-and-seek master. Oh, and one more thing. We need you to apologize to Mrs. Mary for us, alright? We're counting on you, buddy. Yeah, you're too- you're late- you can climb up a gigantic tree, go behind a gigantic house and hide and run like hell. But you're too lazy to say sorry. I am sorry to a teacher. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't get it either. Try to get some sense of that. But anyway, I want to play it hide and seek with them. Talk to Mrs. Mary. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delin delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You know, the people are very lazy here. They can't even talk to anybody. You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spare chant change. And we get a purple rupee that is worth 50. Yay, we earn money. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Okay, so anyway, when I've done that, go out again. Now this is actually required. I'm not kidding, this is actually required to this, to do this. Hey, sounds like you apologized to the teacher for us. Good old Mrs. Mary, and speaking of, bud, did you know it's gonna be Mrs. Mary's birthday soon? Boss! Oh, boss! You think maybe we could get, maybe we sh should be, we give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees, we ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teachers. But Cheech loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into these days? What she's called them? Joy pendants? Really? Where do f where do you find them? Are they just laying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to Teach as a present, and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it. When I was climbing the trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light up up on the top of the, some trees in town. Where was that? Maybe that's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. Anyway, that is actually required. The required part. When you talk to them and they say they want to give her some presents, you need 20 joy pendants. I have 44 now. As you can see, probably. And I just show, target her and show it. And... My dear, that's a joy pendant! By the way, um... If you do this before playing hide and seek and they're telling that she wants a joy pendant, she won't be interested. To tell the truth, I love jewelry about, above all else. And that's why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Okay. Oh my, yes! I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist. Only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen to in my wildest of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the bur best birthday present I could ask of. Just hold up a second. Just takes a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. And we get a river ruby. Now, she says she wants 20. That's what you need to give her. Eh. And if you see those boys again, tell, tell them I said hello. You know, you're so easy that you can't uh, don't want to go out and talk to them. They're right outside your door! Jeez. So anyway, then you can give her... 20 more. <gasps> My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 43? Why, you think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me? Oh, our teacher is very impressed by... Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with a thrill of excitement. So this is what your, what pure joy feels like. I'll take preciously 20 of them, thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. Lucky number. 
And just as I promised, I will reward you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you... A wonderful, splendid thing! Close your eyes, dear. You got the cabana deed! It's written in yellowed parchment. It looks quite old. It's required for something uh, later. Dum da doom! You see, although I am but a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But I lately haven't made use of it at all. So you can leave it. So you can have it. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Seriously, is everybody in the Zelda games Santa Claus? It's alright, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it! So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I am getting in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with the children. And just to so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little island near the Triangle Island. From now on, it is your own little fakular pad. Good luck finding it! Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. So for, twen so for 21 joy pendants, she gave me my own island. Uh, it's Eastern Triangle Island. Private Oasis. That's the one. You need the deed. But anyway, if you got 20 more... Hmm, are you giving these to me as well? But I told you I was perfectly satisfied with the 20 you gave me before. But my, you are such a per persistent little dear since you are so insistent. I will accept them happily. Fine. I have no choice but to unleash pure joy on you. Prepare for an onrush of joy, the likes of which you've never imagined. This is not required. How many joy pendants have you brought? 23? Mom. My goodness! When I put these together with the ones I've already brought me, they add up to a, a whooping 44. Oh, thank you, thank you! I'm so joyful! To receive so many mountains of these beautiful pendants, I am quite simply brimming with joy, my dear. To thank you, I have to give you my most precious of precious belonging. I should give you this very special piece of jewelry. Now close your eyes, dear. This item is so rare, there's not another like it anywhere in the world. Uh, by the way, the joy pendants are only used for this, nothing else. We got... The Hero's Charm! This mystical trinket gives you the ability to see the life forces of your foes. Equip it on the quest status screen. What do you think? Isn't it dashing? It is the rarest of things, and it will show you the, its true worth when you wear it in the pres presence of a monster. For now, just select it on your quest status screen to, to put it in on. And when you do, promise you think of me and treasure it with all your heart. So anyway, that's it. This item is not required. It only makes you see the HP of enemies. Now... It's very cool though. You know, it makes you see the HP of the enemies. That's very, very cool. Now... I'm going to go and do some more quests. Let's see, how much time? 14 minutes, okay. I'm gonna do a few more. Um, about one or two more, and then I'm gonna stop. Okay, so anyway. Um, let's see, there she is. If you have the deluxe picto box, and if you check this old lady, and take a photo of her, the entire body, save it, then you go off to her, and by the way, I'll show you, she's old, talk to her, if I, you could in, indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine, why, looking this fine with blah blah blah, okay, whatever, just show her the picture of her, 
What color? Well, is that how I look today? Why, I had no idea that the gloss in my skin was so perfect. Just look at me. I'm so stunning. Oh, I feel so wonderful now. You're an old lady. You. I had to reward you for making me feel so good about myself. Here. And she gives you a treasure jar. Sea jar. Yeah. I don't know what it leads to, but I'm check gonna check that sometime later, but whatever. Use the chart to find the treasure. My son picked it up somewhere, and I would imagine you like this sort of thing, correct? My son likes it, so you must too. Yeah, whatever. Now, the final thing I'm gonna do. If you talk to this... I don't know if it's a dude or a girl. You pesky little brat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody! Not you, not anybody. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? Completely. Oh, really? And how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to show me a picture of the, the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of. If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. And I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly, now, bring it to me. For this, I would recommend getting the Song of Passing. What you want is the full moon. Oh god, I'm so used to playing the Winds Requiem. Yay. Right, left, down. Song of Passing. So, you need the Deluxe Picture Box too. I tried it with um, the just Picture Box without color and it didn't work. Okay, let's see. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Let's see. Okay, it's almost... Almost nothing. So, just keep uh, playing the song of passing until it's full. And there we go. So anyway, the song of passing is very helpful. Song of Passing de -lily. So yeah, this is, is um, the song, uh, the sun song slash the um, um, uh, sun and um, moon brush technique slash whatever. Okay, whatever. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to continue with